Hey, what's up everyone? Vinny G coming to you for Vinny's Views on UniversalUSA.com. It's January 9th. This is my second video for the year. And I got a few questions from the guys on the forum. Uh, the first question I got is from Diomedes. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. He's from Greece. He's 27 years old. He is asking, hey Vinny, what's uh, any advice you can give me for tall bodybuilders over six foot? about training. Thank you for your time. You know, um, I've heard a lot of people say, oh, the taller you are, the harder it is to build muscle, um, to get big. Like you've seen a bodybuilder like, uh, um, who's that guy, uh, Ralph Muller, who was in uh, the uh, movie with the Gladiator. And he, was one, he was one of those famous bodybuilders who was real tall. I think he went on to win a Miss Universe at one time. Um, I think if you believe that it's hard to put muscle on, then you're just going to be part of the uh, the haters out there and the negative people. So don't believe it. Go into the gym, train your ass off, eat the food you need to eat to help the workouts, and um, do whatever you got to do to to stimulate growth. Uh, whether it's heavy training, high intensity training, drop sets, supersets, whatever it is, go in there and train. Don't think you're a tall bodybuilder and it's hard to grow. Go in there with one focus and one only of growing and getting as big as you can. Uh, throw the negative out the door of how tall you are and just go for it and do your best. Um, don't worry about anybody's comments or negative input when they say uh, you can't do it or it's impossible. That's when I love to you know do my best when somebody tells me I can't do something. So I'm telling you, you can be positive about it, enjoy the gym, kick some ass, have some fun. All right, next question comes from uh, our new boy on the, on the block here, Nick Leopore. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, Nick. Uh, he's from Jersey, from Tom's River. He's, uh, he's a newbie here. He's a rookie with uh, Universal USA, and we welcome you. It's great to have you on board, Nick. Nick's 23 years old, and uh, his question is, What's the best gym you ever trained at? Oh, wow. Um, well, I have to say, like, one of the best gyms I could ever remember training at was Billy's Gym in Bayonne, New Jersey. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have gyms like that anymore. You know, there's very few, and, you know, they're scarce. Um, you know, when I first worked out, like, back in 84, 85, that was, that was an awesome gym. It was, like, 5,000 square feet. It was just iron, power lifters, and bodybuilders. Um, strong and shapely. Bob Bonham's gym's got to be one of the best. It's got equipment that you've never seen before. Uh, Bev Francis gym out in Long Island, another great gym. I wish I lived closer. I'd be training there. And um, the uh, the gym that Gold's gym in uh, Connecticut, where Evan trains, that's like you're like a kid in a candy store. That has got to be one of the best gyms I've ever trained in. So those those three gyms, Bev's. Uh, Golds in Connecticut and Strong and Shapely. Probably those are the three best gyms I've ever trained in. All right, our next question comes from Remmers101. He's uh, he wants to know, hey Vin, quick question. Why can't I or any other bodybuilder just start off with 45 minutes to 60 minutes of cardio instead of starting off with 20 or 30 minutes? I'd figure more would be better, right? Yeah, more is better when the time calls for it. <clears throat> if you start out at 60 minutes of cardio right now and the time comes when your body gets used to that cardio which could be in about three weeks to a month how much more cardio are you going to do? An hour and a half? You'd be spending too much time in the gym and then eventually you're going to need two hours of cardio for it to be, so, to be, for, for it to be a fat burning uh, process for you and, and you don't want to have that um, uh, you don't want to be in that situation where you need to do more. You want to start out slow, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, get your body working from that point, and when you need to add, you add to that. Up to 35 minutes, up to 45 minutes, up to 50 minutes. Now, when I'm training for a contest, I don't think I get past 50 minutes of cardio. Maybe some days it's an hour. But um, I start out at 20, 30 minutes. Stair mill is the key. Stair mill, no, nothing beats a stair mill. You got to get the stair mill in, and then another piece of cardio equipment. Don't I wouldn't ever do, you know, the stairmaster uh, kicks butt on everything else. Treadmill, the elliptical, uh, the cross trainer, the bike, 
they're good. Stair mill's the best. It's the Cadillac of all pieces of cardio equipment. Um, you don't want to have your body get accustomed to it. That's why you start out lower. All right. I'm Vinny G. That's my Q&A for this week. Please shoot me some more questions on the forum, and uh, I'll answer them for you. Thanks, guys. Have a good week.